should be a uh, interesting looking one. I don't know when it'll get or if ever if it'll get an English sub, but I mean, it looks pretty popular and animated stuff, so it's probably gonna it's a, go ahead. Uh, is this a Korean uh, one or is this a Japanese animation? It's Japanese. Oh, okay, cool. uh, I think it's being done by WB, so it's probably gonna get uh, English adaption if I had to guess. But it just depends on if it's popular and the speed yeah. and the state of the world, really, a lot of the time. Because, uh, shoot, man, like <laughs> we were just talking about it, there's just not that much stuff coming out. It's kind of crazy sometimes. Yeah, right now, uh, just waiting for WandaVision. Uh, when does that drop? Isn't it supposed to drop in February? 22nd. No, this, this is month. it January? Okay. Yeah. We could I want maybe oh I don't know if we did a WandaVision trailer last time. I don't know what we did. But I think we've done the WandaVision trailer before, so we couldn't have done that one. Because I know they had a new one, but I can't remember if we did that one or not last time. Ah well it's fine. But yeah, no, I mean uh it's definitely one of the it's gonna be very watched simply because it's the first Marvel thing to come out in like a year. Like when was the last Marvel release? Uh, yeah, it's been a whole. It's been about a whole year. Um, what was, was it? Spider Man. Year, but like, yeah, I don't feel like they dropped anything uh, last year. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think they did. I don't think there was shit after... Uh... Oh, New Mutants. But that's technically was an MCU. Yeah, that was... Yeah, technically stuff. Uh, uh, Fox. Um, well, um, yeah. So there really hasn't been nothing. And so, yeah, this would be... They, I think there was, like, quite a few things planned for this year for Marvel. So they're going to come out with a bang. Well, um, we would hope, but... they. They were supposed yeah. to have a lot of stuff going this year, so yeah. So we'll, uh, first off, yeah, starting off will be our Wand Division. Um, so that would be exciting to check out. Um, that would that's gonna be another pretty much I think one once a week, right? Again, because that's what kind of Disney's going for is really the once a week, which I don't mind, but I would like to binge stuff still. But I guess it is nice to kind of get that weekly kind of clip fingers every once in a while i mean sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad i feel like we've talked about how the comic book medium lends itself to shorter more packed together episodes kind of like runs but that's not to say they can't do a good job this way it's just i mean like if you look at the mandalorian they prove that they can make it work right which is good. Yeah. 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 And I've liked the Mandalorian in that kind yeah. of slow pace. It's been nice because that I li I've been enjoying those Fridays of like, oh, it's going to be our Mandalorian today. And uh, it's, just, it's been really nice to kind of, you know, um, I guess not watch through it all. <laughs> um, it is nice sometimes not to binge, although sometimes like. It's not so nice not to binge <laughs> like oh man i was doing one earlier for reaction series and i did a bunch of them in a row and i'm like these would have been really awful if i had to wait like a week between each of them <laughs> oh excuse me but it was for something else it was like a cartoon or something i can't remember exactly what i was watching but yeah i, I think the pacing is fine if they make it work that way um yeah. and they've seemed to understand what they're doing so far i will say uh -huh. they've been needing more titles so this is what they need right is more yeah. titles because all sure, they really had is the mandalorian yeah for now yeah for sure uh, it looks like it's going to be marvel uh this year is going to be taking over disney plus i mean we got the the wandavision then we have the i think the what if is supposed to even come out this year um i believe the winter soldier and falcon show is coming out here in the summertime um could be wrong could be spring um i feel like there's another show oh loki is also supposed to be so it looks, this year it looks as well. like almost all of their marvel tv shows are coming out this year mm -hmm. but i wouldn't i wouldn't bank money on all of them getting out this year 
Yeah, we'll see how they how they end up going this year. I mean, if they've d- finished filming most of everything, then cool, right on. But if they're still, you know, doing scenes, still got to do a couple yeah, scenes. Yeah, they might be in a bit of trouble because things are still going a little rough. I mean, things are kind of turning up, but yeah, they got WandaVision, according to this list, January 15th. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's the 15th. Uh, Falcon nice. and Winter Consider. Soldier is March 19th. The Black oh, nice. Widow movie comes out May 7th. Yeah, okay. I hadn't seen anything about it, but okay. Um, Loki's TV show comes out in May. Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings comes out in July. Which I'm excited for. I am I'm excited, excited for the though, Ten I'm Rings so, kind of stuff going. I'm not so pumped about the uh, the release date being so close still to the Black Widow one. Granted, it's two months away, but considering how they're paced, you know what I mean. That we've got month five month seven and then we got the what if in summer we got the hawkeye nice. series miss marvel and then we get the next movie is eternals in november followed by spider-man in december so those are only a month of, or so oh, apart. Wow. december so there's i haven't heard anything about december release date for spider-man but well wow, this okay. is according to games radar so take it at face value you know what i mean who the hell knows and then we got That's pretty some, soon tentative feel, dates for Doctor Strange and Thor Love and Thunder. I feel like they're still getting like everything all together still because there's all these this news of supposedly Andrew Garfield coming on and uh, well, I feel like McGuire. usually at least if you're doing your job right, that stuff should come out after they've already been doing it for a fair amount of right. time. Okay, yeah. So you know we'll, what I mean. We'll see. They, if you're doing your job right, they shouldn't have gotten wind of them like the day shooting started. You would prefer it's like, <laughs> all right, they got wind of them like the last couple of days. We were being lazy. Like, so right, hopefully, let, yeah, let I'm know. hoping that's the case. <laughs> Who knows? But, uh, I mean, we we don't actually know. I don't think we have yeah, anything actually set. Uh, I, I mean, I, I haven't seen, seen from screenshots of like, because you know how they haven't seen like really anything. I mean, anything. yeah. Uh, I mean, the, besides. Uh, Black Widow, the only thing I think is really, the only things I think that are actually locked in stone right now uh, are probably the movies, Falcon, Winter Soldier, Mm -hmm. and WandaVision. WandaVision. (laughs) Everything else I think is kind of up for it. Uh, I would say the what if too. I mean, Uh, I think a lot of the other ones, including what if maybe Loki, because we have seen more from Loki than from what if. I think. Yeah, and I think Loki is about done too. I want to say that one's going to be. I'd coming say out they're well. at least decent. They maybe a good not amount done. Of trailer, but we'll see. I right. Don't know. The thing is, we don't know exactly what that's from. It could be all from one episode, as far as we know. I mean, I don't yeah. think it is necessarily because they're. I mean, and they did a cool idea, you know, a little time cop whatever parody they're doing because you did see that right they're doing the time variance patrol i think we talked about that yeah yeah we did talk a little bit about that so, yeah, so that, be be a, i'm wondering if I this is like going to be their... in there oh i don't remember <laughs> if I... first yeah he was the guy that was in the elevator with him oh yeah, yeah that's right it's because it, it's because he wasn't like as a character so i didn't really yeah, look at yeah. him you know what i mean and yeah. maybe he is at some point and i just don't know that particular character but i'm trying to remember who who all the time variance authority we used to mm, mess around <laughs> with but the only person i can think of who's really time-based is like kang or uh what's his name well, Zorro, i, the I had heard Man. that there were supposed to be some kang the being the new villain here i mean i've um, heard up and I've down on it uh but i mean it would make sense partially for the fantastic four showing up right they've mm-hmm. always been pretty heavily tied with kang so. um but I, I don't know i just guess that it depends on what they're planning to do i don't know i i think I heard the same kind of rumors going around, which were mm-hmm. rumors about Ant Man, the Quantum Realm, and Kang. Oh yes, yes, that was something too. Yeah, you know, I even think I heard some. It was being casted as already as somebody. I can't uh, remember. Maybe those are rumors. Maybe not. The only casting choice I'm super happy about recently is the one with uh, Christian Bale playing. Oh yeah, Gore. Gore. The, uh, the That's drug, just gonna be so fun. I don't know how they're gonna do it or what they're gonna do for it because it's such an extreme character i think Mm -hmm. it works really well for him i'm just hoping he knows he doesn't actually have to become a gray alien for the part you know what i mean you know yeah he doesn't have to become a real horse no i'm just (laughs) he doesn't have to lose 500 pounds Uh, yeah i am excited still for some of this stuff to come out i'm hoping yeah i forgot we we still we still hadn't heard too much from it but blade has still been like kind of yeah. in the 
that and, one and Deadpool three is moving forward finally again. But that one, yeah. That but the only thing I told you about that one was that they had hired new writers for this one. Yeah, so I'm a little iffy about it, but we'll see how you know. I think it'll be, be okay because uh, I can't remember how well the second one did compared to the first one. Second one was pretty good. I mean, first one I really liked. Second one was still pretty good. I, I didn't to, hate it. I didn't uh, like. I meant more as performed as a movie and made. Um, I don't think its profit margin was nearly as high. Obviously, it probably had a bigger no. budget, which probably ate into that. But maybe I, not. You Who know knows? what I, I liked no about that number two was that it was more. It felt more like Deadpool to me, at least, because it was just yeah. like crazy freaking antics that were just randomly happening. I think it definitely one felt was, more like, Deadpool. I was not expecting all the characters. You know, he all uh, hired for X Force to just die away <laughs> and then he, i don't oh, know no. there, there, there was a like... lot that was more deadpoolish about the second i think some of that may also hurt it as a movie yeah because i think deadpool... they just got they yeah. had free reign they were like well let's just do whatever because we did pretty good on the first one so yeah and they did fine it was still funny it was still a good uh it was still a good one i don't know if it was once again as good as the first one it was definitely more more deadpoolish in a lot of ways I mean, the first mm-hmm. Deadpool really did scream Deadpool, I think, in a lot more it did, specific it did. But it, it had a more focused story, I think, to me. Number two, I just, it was just like, I don't know. It was just, I mean, just kind of random and crazy. And It is a oh, little random got... and a little crazy. I don't, I think <laughs> that it, the first one was made that way purposely because it had to have his origin story in there. Yeah. That's that was pretty. Uh, that was probably partially too. Although it as the well. second one had a big part of story too, just didn't have to deal with Deadpool. It dealt with Cable and the kid. Yeah, a little bit more. So yeah. that one, so that's... it still had a story that line in there is just not about him. Uh, and then he but, had uh, his whole little. I'm curious on what they'll do with three and. And I guess if Disney is giving them full kind of power to just say, yeah, yeah go ahead and do what you, what you want to do. The real thing is if this he, is going to be an R rated movie. Yeah. The real thing is if they do three and what, well, I guess when they do three and how they do three is important because it'll determine if the series ends there. Because typically movies end on trilogies. Or if they add them into the Marvel universe. They might just add it in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I can definitely see it. I think if they do it, they should probably do it in Spider-Man, but. It's just the best place for him to work, I guess. <laughs> He's the least serious of the heroes. Well, I guess that's not 100% true. We've kind of got a more loose uh, Thor and a more loose Guardians, you know, in mm-hmm. cinematic versions. Uh, but I don't know. It still just works canonically. And it, sh- it it should be an interesting time if they did it. I don't know if they will, but I would really hope they did. I really want to see Deadpool in the main Marvel Universe. It's where he belongs. It's where he was designed. Not cinematically, but just you know. Yeah, we'll see what what goes on with that. So yeah, that um, I am ex- excited though that they did get confirmed for three. I didn't even think that was probably going to happen, but I wasn't um, sure. Like I said, I liked two, but I didn't think it performed super well, like the first one did, because the first first one had just done really well monetarily. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, as far as how much money had been put in versus how much came out, it did a really good job. It had like the number one rated R box office at the time, or something, or maybe that was two. But I thought that was one. Who knows? Uh, I'm not too sure. I haven't seen them. I've seen them in quite a while. I'd have to watch them again. Right. You know what I did watch though this weekend? I watched uh, We uh, We Live finally. Been wanting to watch that for the longest time. I'm trying to remember um, which one We Live is. That's the one with um, the one. They're not. There's really no no famous actors in there except for one dude, and I always forget his name. He's the guy that played the um, Arbiter in uh, Halo. He did the voice for oh, it. Oh, okay, the John Carpenter. Oh, and he one? did Spawn too for the '90s uh, cartoon oh, show as well, way. animated. But uh, yeah, we live. It's just kind of like basically aliens have taken over, and um, we are kind of blind to it, and are just kind of we just consume and consume, and uh, that's all. You know, we're being brainwashed to just kind of buy 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 and ignore 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 and just reproduce reproduce <laughs> <laughs> um but then the, what happens is i guess he meets a group of people who kind of know what's going on and they build these special glasses and uh once you put them on everything's kind of black and white but then you see the true faces of the uh, aliens hiding behind human faces and they kind of look like skeleton faces almost but not really they are kind of alienish uh, in uh, some way are you, are um, you it's, sure it's not they live? 
Oh, maybe it is that they live. Sorry, I meant to say probably they live. Because it reminds me of a John Carpenter one that I. Had yeah, it's about. John. Yeah, it's John Carpenter film. Okay, then yeah, I think it's they live. Sorry, I was being it's thrown off. I was like, we live. No. It sounded yeah, familiar, they, but just not quite. Yeah, that's why they live. But no, that sounds um, like an interesting one for sure. If it's the one. Yeah, I think finally checked it out. Me. Yeah, it was uh, something I've wanted to always watch and. And I know that there, it's been quoted quite a few times in some things. Um, uh, so yeah, it was. I check. I recommend checking it out. So it's cool. like it's a little cheesy some parts, but it, it's cool. It's good. There's even like I think honestly probably the best fight scene I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> in this movie you you gotta watch it's, it's in the out it's called the alley brawl and uh yeah it's the best thing you ever watch <laughs> it, it's it's pretty good it's funny so um other than that that's pretty much all i checked out i was trying to catch up on that sabrina the witch because they um yeah they, they dropped just a new one on. right yeah they just ended it though on netflix it was supposed to keep going further the writers wanted to go but um Netflix didn't catch up or didn't want to do another season with them. So they don't they like to do to... syndication, bro. It's three. We talked about it. it's three seasons and done. So they don't have to pay you royalties. Yeah. So that's, that was kind of sad. So I was like, hopefully the writers find, I mean, they were trying to do the best they could, but from what I read is that it was eh, okay. They did it, but you know, it's the best they could do from one last season. So try well, to wrap everything you know, up. <laughs> it's a little tough, especially when something like Sabrina, which is a bit, more complex you know what i mean it wasn't yeah it wasn't as the 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 the, the, uh, the sabrina we grew up with that's for sure no no no, definitely um, this one's more darker yeah that, for she's sure also and... the, the queen of hell now in the third season so okay well uh, it gets, i mean it gets yeah. pretty <laughs> crazy well yeah. they had to go big for their last season probably and once again like they probably had even bigger or like longer term aspirations but when you're forced to finish everything in a season you can sometimes get rushed and have to make mm -hmm. not as great story choices as you would yeah. if you weren't, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I've been meaning to check out the comic too. Cause, uh, Oh yeah. I they started it's... releasing, didn't they? Uh, well, that's what it's based one? off of that show is on the comic book. And, um, it's a, it was supposed to be like a darker Sabrina, the witch. And that one also I think is done too, but then they just came out with like a one shot, I think for Madam Satan. Um, I think so they do a, a lot of little Sabrina one shots or crossovers. I see them from time to time. Yeah, this one was um I don't know how that one this one came out came to be. It was the I think it was the Archie Afterlife uh kind of spin-off that they were doing that was which is more kind of darker Archie comics <laughs> that they were doing. But um other than that, yeah, that's pretty much all I checked out was just that this weekend. Um, anything you uh, watched here that you were trying to catch up on? Uh, let's see. I had just started up on the new one of, one of what was it, Jujutsu Kaisen. So I'm, I'm like halfway caught up through that because it's on episode 13. It's not bad, but I've been hearing a lot of good praise from it. And I'm still it just got to the part where I was waiting for because I had seen some previews or whatever. And I'm like, all right, this is like a darker kind of Tokyo ghoulish Oh, okay. one somewhat at least that's what i had gotten the impression yeah. but it took to like episode six to get anywhere close to it so i was like all right i'm kind of like waiting for things to pop off mm -hmm. some more and hopefully it gets a little better it does have like the makings of a good shonen and a lot of this the tropes but i'm still waiting for it to kind of like pop out and grab me and make me want to like continue watching you know what i mean episode by episode as opposed to like all right i episode watched episode five should i watch episode mm -hmm. six um what else uh shit i was looking at something and i can't remember exactly what it was i know i've been checking out a couple of the new uh anime stuff running out all the new attack on titan stuff uh, yeah, I still need to catch. Uh, I need to watch that first episode. I have to wait still <laughs> until they get the dubs here for oh, my yeah. son because he watches it with me. But uh, that one should be coming out here on Toonami, I think, uh, either this week or next week. I can't remember. Yeah, they do it pretty quickly after the subs release, which I thought was interesting. Well, I mean, I'm glad they do it for sure. That's been well. They it's... used to do it the day that the anime came out. They were able to do it like that, but with I mean, COVID all happening. Yeah, which <laughs> so I mean, I guess lot. that makes sense to a point. It was nice. It was really nice to be able to. I mean, it's nice to have him day the of, anime but... while while everyone, because you know, everyone watches. I know there's a lot of people that are more 
to the subs and I understand why, you know, to, to love subs are a little bit better, but um, it was nice to like, you know, be able to watch the dub and then be able to, you know, be caught up with everyone else and not be like, oh, we're already... For, for, uh, yeah, we're season 28. <laughs> oh I'm about to tell you everything that happened. No, yeah. And then there's me reading the manga, like I'll end your whole oh, career. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm already past everything. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Well, and that's why, like I said, that's why I really was enjoying watching, even though it's actually not my favorite. I'm enjoying this other really kiddish one way more. But Jujutsu Kaisen. I was still enjoying watching it just because I haven't read the manga for it. So it's it's surprising me. You know what I mean? I, I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know, I guess, a lot of the time. But I don't know what's going to happen next. You know what I mean? Right. So it, it helps a lot. Whereas some of the other anime series, this is like, ah, yeah, I already read that like a month ago. And so it's, it's tough for me to like ca- catch on to certain anime series that aren't where, where i didn't like the story or something based on it's like oh it's got the anime out and the animation is amazing whereas based on this where it's like all right even though i don't really love the story yet because i haven't seen it yet and it's got cool graphics i'm willing to keep watching through it and like see where it goes uh-huh. um nice. besides, besides that i really didn't do too much just you know did new year's this week uh i work on some different projects so this week has been real slow i didn't even get to catch up on comics or anything <laughs> nice yeah um i'm trying to figure out what i read oh well i just read uh something killing the children and uh read that new uh finally the the last issue of that spider-man book oh nice the, the uh, so that one yeah so the final arc for his uh what was it called the story arc Kendrick. it was like oh the last remains yeah last remains story arc yeah. So just finished that up and uh it ended okay. Meh. I it was okay ending. I th- I um, felt like the whole run with kinda has been a little drug out and yeah. It's all right. Yeah, it was okay. I mean I I did like like I said there was some things I did like and it was cool that was written in there, but then there was just some of the things I just like meh, didn't care for that ending. The the climax wasn't all that great. Um I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it keeps going. Um, I guess people like Nick Spencer because he's still going on <laughs> with issue. What, what is this? Fifty four now? Fifty five? Yeah, I've been on it a so, minute, man. I mean, and, issues and now. It, once again, I like a lot of the stuff he's done. Uh, it's just the current point in the story. I'm just not all that thrilled of. I kind of fall in and out of his Spider Man run stuff. Uh-huh. Um, so. We'll see what happens with that, because, I mean, it looks like he's still continuing. I haven't heard anything of New Rider switching out yet. Um, but, yeah, I mean, other than that, what else did I read? Um, trying to figure out here. Let me give my list here. Are you still getting into Cyberpunk? A little bit. I've been playing a little here and there, but I just haven't had that much time this week. I was really, like, trying to knock mm-hmm. out a bunch of crap for... Uh the new year so i could be prepared for stuff i'm still not quite there unfortunately i was just like behind on a lot of crap Jeez. so like i was doing a lot of the edits for uh for like next month's photos for comic convos and shit like that it's usually it doesn't take too long but if i if i've not been on schedule it can be rough hmm. yeah Let's see what else i read Okay, well, then that doesn't look like I read really much anything else. <laughs> no, either, it's, too. I get to you, man. Like, this week has been a little, like, what with, you know, there was Christmas the one week, and then this time, think, uh, New Year's, uh-huh. and then obviously just the rest of life and BS going on in the world that uh, I just didn't get to the comics this week, which is rough because it's really the only thing we usually have to talk about because there's no movies coming out. We just talked about earlier how there's basically not much coming out yet, and. Yeah. Not going to be much coming out for a while. The only thing that came out was did pretty well at the office, but that's because nothing else did anything this year. (laughs) It's like, I did great, guys. It's like, yeah, everybody else was crippled and at home. Yeah, um, 
I guess well, there was some news. Uh, I was checking out. Guess uh, Batman Beyond and Batman Nineties is on uh, HBO Max now. Oh, that's right. It hadn't been on there before. That's right. No, that's that actually. Was, uh, I did hear someone actually super happy. Hoisting... I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> happy about it. I can't remember. I was where already watching was... them already. Yeah, yeah, like, that's kind of what. Like, they're, they're pretty good still. Yeah, I I can't remember where. I mean, I've watched stuff all over the place, but I can't remember where I had seen someone posting about it and they're like i love this because it has this and this and this and it was like well, wait a minute did they just add that today and it was batman i was like did they just add that recently to this because i i thought yeah that they had it and then i then someone had told me they added it and then i saw that and i was like well did they have it or didn't yeah, they, they have it they just added it. yeah they just added okay. it um, which is that funny. and then uh curse the means... dogs on there too now that's not bad um, that's actually pretty good kids next door um a couple other things bill and uh mandy um let's see can't remember off the top of my head but yeah there's a few other things but yeah um they yeah got a couple cool og shows from cartoon network on there so a lot of demand was asked for those and they uh brought it to there <laughs> that's good i'm surprised they don't there's some things that they don't have on there that i know they have access to yeah but i guess it's just they got to prioritize with whatever space they have for server streams and shit. So, uh, what else do we got to talk about? They might be a shorter episode. Uh, I know you said you had gotten some new figures, right? Oh yeah. Let me, I guess I can grab those really quick. Cause I left them in the other room. Hold on. Uh, no worries. Yeah, um, Hasbro, like I said, is doing um, a lot, some cool Transformers toys that are coming from their Netflix show that they did. Um, <clears throat> but I guess they're supposed to be doing the Beast War characters here next, and they uh, had this wave come out here next. Um, I forget what the line's called. It's like the Kingdom Earthrise line. Um, but it's other than that, ish. yeah, it's like because they're not like really. The, it's not like the Beast War show. It's just like the character. I don't yeah, know. We'll see no, how no, no. Happens. I mean, I, I definitely get why they're doing it and how they're doing it. It just makes me laugh so much because the name sounds like a name for an old Bionicle shoot off or some Bionicles. The mist rises in Earth. Nice. Yeah, so there's Cheetor, and he's God, uh, man. Those are classics. <laughs> Yeah, they, yeah, that's why I was so happy about these. I was like, yeah, I gotta get these because I'm a bit. I don't collect Transformers, but these are the only ones I'd probably get. <laughs> <laughs> but these ones I'll um, collect. <laughs> yeah, and the Transformer modes are pretty good, actually. I'll, I'll say, um, I do like Cheetors. Uh, the only thing I'm a little disappointed is his head doesn't have like uh, no movement. So other than that, I I, I kind of like pretty much everything else. So the, the paint's really good. I do wish they did give him. Uh, a gun because all the other characters get guns and uh swords at least well but i guess they you know they incorporated his tail to be with that kind of axe yeah or whatever this say, is. You know, maybe it's a gun too man you, you can't underestimate so, it <laughs> but other than that this is really cool the transformer modes are really cool um it is kind of tiny it's not that big it's not like a seven inch yeah, figure I, was say, it looks about four but, uh, I guess they're doing more to the scale of the figure so if we got optimus prime here or primal <laughs> and um he's a little bit bigger than uh cheetor and yeah, it's just because they got cool. up to scale but uh megatron's big boy they got him way bigger for sure so and he um he's a big, i still gotta get him he's though chunky um, he's big the boy. <laughs> So he's, I'm just missing him, and then in May they'll have um, Air Razor and uh, the I forget the the Raptor's name. Oh shoot, I can't remember. Yeah, he he's coming out in May as well, and then they have these other weird off characters I've never heard of, but they're probably from the comic book. That's probably why I've never seen them. Um, like these uh, exoskeleton, not exoskeleton, but like actual full on skeleton uh, dinosaurs. Um, oh, you know, those sound familiar, but I don't think I remember who or what they are. Yeah, I I, I was uh, I didn't really get into it too much, but I think they're from the comic books is where those ones come from. That's cool. Um, I want other than my game we, somehow. Yeah. But... Maybe too. Maybe they're in the game, too. But uh, yeah, we got uh, this one, too, right here as well. Oh, 
<laughs> Black Arachnia. Larachnia. She's pretty, cool no, it's... She's pretty cool too. She comes with their little gun right there. And uh yeah, the arm the arms are all posable. I like that they legs. look like they were almost made in the eighties, which is just the color styles and everything. Yeah, they're really cool. I think they did a really good job at them. Um, yeah, the beast modes are really cool. I think they did a good job on that. Um, oh yeah, and then uh, of course you can't forget Rat Trap. He's uh, also coming out as well too. Rat Trap. Um, but uh, I got him in the mail coming through, so we'll <laughs> we'll check him out later. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, I got. Uh, I'm for sure gonna collect all these uh, beast characters. That's for sure. But uh, I'm not like I said. I'm not too much of a fan of the Transformers in general. But I do. I do have a love for Beast Wars. <laughs> Well, that's good. Ooh. Yeah. So, uh, what next? Um, yes. So you didn't read anything else, huh? I mean, I read some of the anime and mega stuff, but the one I read, I wasn't too terribly happy with the stuff. Uh-huh. It was. It started off as a really good series. I think it's called Tales of Gods and Demons or something. Oh, okay. I've never, I've never heard that. Before. Yeah, it's one of these Korean manga, and it started off pretty good. They they have their own tropes, which mm-hmm. a lot of their tropes uh, focus on like scaled leveling. So they do like, all right, you're a, a a level one gold class, and then you're a level two gold class, and then you're a level one diamond class, and level two diamond, cl- and they focus really about these growth stages. Uh, the other big things they focus on is alchemy and uh, forging cool. kind of stuff, I guess you could okay. say. And then there's a couple other things. They also were some of the f- some of the people who kind of pioneered some of the uh, more recent types of like gaming stuff, like solo leveling warrior and uh, I only solo level. I can't remember. There's a couple of different ones. But these ones, this one in particular, I wasn't enjoying because the character never seems to have a situation he's placed in where he's actually in a, in a large amount of danger, I guess. Mm-hmm. And his progression upward is just like too smooth with no real consequence based on the status, which it makes, it does and doesn't make sense with the plot and stuff, but it's just not as interesting to read when every single time he ends up knowing more than his teacher or knows more than is like, all right, if he was so badass, then how do you get here? based on like this it, it's a whole thing but yeah that one kind of i i enjoyed in the early stages but the farther i go the worse the problem gets okay as as that one said uh what else i still have to catch up to like and i don't feel bad saying it but uh i gotta catch up to th- chapter 1000 of one piece because i was waiting and it just came out last week and now they're on hiatus for a couple weeks which is good but at least maybe the anime is only on hiatus i don't remember but uh, I just haven't sat down to read it because I want to I want to like sit down and read chapters before it so I can remember what exactly was happening in full detail. Because I know he's going to hit me with some bullshit. Um, <laughs> besides that. I really yeah, this was not a week where I actually got a bunch of reading done, which is kind of crazy to say. But usually I do catch most of the comics and I'm just like super mm-hmm. behind. I'm trying to like look through my list, but nothing's like ringing out is something i remember looking through and even for the manga like i caught up on boku no hero and i caught up on attack on titans manga and all that stuff but it it's and they were good they were fine they're they're just like i'm waiting for something more impactful to kind of hit me i guess uh what about you did you have anything else you could think of Um, no not too much i was trying to figure out what i needed to catch up on still um I mean, there's tons I need to catch up on, including like some of the King and Black stuff that would have released this week. And yeah, I read um at least this. I week. didn't read. I didn't read that new issue of um the Doctor Doom and um Iron Man King and Black, and it looks like it involves Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, I heard it was a really good issue. Actually, it, I heard it was dumb too, but usually it's a combo of those two. So it's just a side issue. Bad. I mean. Um... Let's see what else. 
I mean, if we don't have anything, that's all right. We'll just we can call it yeah, a short yeah, one maybe today. We can call it these uh, early um, too. I'm and still gonna uh, pick out Back to the Future Transformers. <laughs> nice. That's all. I actually yeah, that I've actually seems it. like it'd be really cool. I really yeah. Check you might should check it out. You should like it. Um, I just that like one, they did a Terminator one too. Yeah, I just love crossovers. I don't know why. I just I like I, yeah, if, I if they're done well. Actually, not even if if it's a good crossover or a cheesy crossover. I'm okay. Yeah, me too. I remember, I mean, I, I I remember the uh, the He Man Thundercats crossover was super cheesy, but it was perfect because it was super <laughs> like, cheesy. It was super. <laughs> it did exactly what the you expect them to do, which is just like smash them together in the dumbest way with no creativity right. involved. It's just like yeah, just Batman and Wolverine, go for it. Wow. <laughs> like that's how i feel on it but yeah no it was a good episode today not as much stuff to talk about i guess that's the thing is we're usually with the last two weeks we've had a lot to talk about with all right. the wonder woman and cyberpunk stuff and until something new comes up we're not gonna we're not gonna really have anything so we're probably waiting until wandavision uh and until then we'll be mostly relying on comics and uh figure releases and <laughs> yep Hopefully, you know, we'll get Chonky Boy Megatron in. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can get him here soon. I'm trying to get him. He's yeah, well, a big boy. He's a big Chonky Boy. We're going to have to open up uh, donations in our chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, that was a fun one. And uh, I guess we'll see everybody next time. Yeah, have a good one, everyone. If you enjoyed watching Rwanda support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.